Hey guys, Ping here. Um, we modeled this roof yesterday. Mm, today, let's model something maybe like this one. Maybe like this. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, I'll do a mess. Okay, so let's create a mess and uh, Reference spline one two three four one two three four one two three four okay set them move these points up okay so now select these three as uh, reference lines and uh, create form so this will be the form of this shape um the yeah the face of this mass and then select this face device surface and then here select this pattern okay so it's quite close already right um Okay, we need to to create actually we, we need to create a curtain panel pattern base family so to place it here so now go new family curtain panel pattern base open select this uh, pattern grid this and select this uh, how to pronounce it? Rhomboid. <laughs> anyway, so uh, rhino, rhomboid. Yep. Probably. Okay. So now, have a look. Try to move the cursor on these points. So see that there's numbers on it. So one. Two, three, four, and in this, um, I believe in this mass once. For example, if this is the face, this is that uh, four points. So one, two, three, four. I I believe the points is located like this. Okay, so. Now come to here, so one, two, three. So I'll connect one and three. Spline, reference line. And then select this one and together with these two, control select and create form. So I'll just do a face first and then repeat. So tab, select this reference line and together with this one create form face so now we have this um, so two face in this family so I'll load this one into this mass and select this face again so and change it to family 2 so now it's better looks better so it's it's actually very close to this already yeah so we probably need to reduce the number of these to make it more like um, um, hang on, try ten. Oh no, the other way. Other way. Okay, so yeah, like this one. Okay, just this point. Yeah. So that's it. Very simple, isn't it? Okay, so I'll stop here and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.